Gestational diabetes is carbohydrate intolerance that develops during pregnancy. So not for women that had diabetes before they came into pregnancy, but develops during pregnancy. It's unique to the pregnancy condition. About 6% of all pregnancies are going to be affected by gestational diabetes. And what happens is that the cells don't process the sugar appropriately. So that sugar builds up in the bloodstream. That causes problems for both mom and baby. It can cause an increased risk of having a C-section. It can cause larger babies, which is one of the reasons that moms end up with C-sections. It can increase mom's risks of having preeclampsia. It also increases the risk to baby. So things like shoulder dystocia, where a baby gets stuck during delivery, and then also things after delivery, so jaundice or low blood sugars in babies. The risk factors for diabetes in pregnancy are very similar to the risk factors for diabetes without pregnancy. Somebody who's already overweight or obese when they come into pregnancy, other risk factors for health like cardiovascular disease or high cholesterol, and especially things that have already caused insulin resistance in women like polycystic ovarian syndrome. So those are things that we look for in an individual and we'll screen somebody a little bit earlier than the traditional screening if they have those risk factors. It's important to know that all women get screened for diabetes in pregnancy. If someone has those risk factors or if they are particularly concerned about it, they can always be screened earlier in pregnancy as well. The mainstay of treatment for gestational diabetes is lifestyle changes, which is very true for regular diabetes as well. The first thing that we try is to teach women how to count their carbohydrates, how to increase their amount of protein in each food. If someone needs medication, then that's individualized to the woman. It's very important for someone to recognize that this is an opportunity to change your health. It's very important both for the mother and for the baby to understand that this diagnosis increases their risk over their lifetime. So a few weeks after a mother gives birth, we will screen her again to make sure that the diabetes does actually go away right after birth. And then moms and babies should be screened throughout their lifetimes. For almost everyone, this goes away after they give birth, but it is something to keep an eye on. Making sure that you are healthy, that you are following the diet that your doctor lays out for you, and especially exercising. So moderate exercise, walking, swimming, um, doing some aerobics 30 to 45 minutes a day most days of the week makes a huge difference. And it helps us in our overall health, but also helps us to ward off diabetes throughout our lifetime.